In the meantime, UNP parliamentarian Rosie Siranayake says that the government has failed in building relations with key countries that Sri Lanka engages with. She expressed these views in an exclusive interview with News First Bureau Chief in Washington, Gaddafi Smile. February this year, the American audience was treated, um, they were treated to 30 minutes of paid programming, this is leading up to Geneva, uh, on Sri Lanka as part of an attempt to improve Sri Lankan Sri Lanka's image in the US. Considering that it was shown on primetime NBC, it is obvious that it was uh, quite a costly exercise for the Sri Lankan government and taxpayers' money. What was the justification for such expenditure and who was it really aimed at? I think you should be asking this question from the government, but as a member of the opposition, uh, if I may, uh, you know, basically give my opinion, personal opinion. Uh, in a post-war situation, I think we need to basically uh, re-portray or re-market, rebrand Sri Lanka. Uh, I strongly believe that the government has failed in building relations with the key countries uh, that we deal with. Uh, in these last couple of years. When the government fails to you know, uh, have good relations with some of the people that we need to have relations, uh, good relations, uh, I strongly believe that our foreign relations are not, um, uh, it's, it's not adequate enough for us to you know, basically uh, portray ourselves in the right light. And um, because we've been arrogant, we have failed to do what is right after uh, the war, because we won the war, and I give all the credit to the president and the government for winning the war. But after the war, when we talk about uh, the LLRC report, when we talk about the recommendations, when we talk about reconciliation, I think there has been a lapse, there has been uh, lethargicness, they have been very uh, lethargic in uh, implementing the recommendations, they have been very, um, uh, what do I say, um, there have been um, a lack of interest. That brings me to my last question. Will you ever run for presidency in Sri Lanka? Why not? If I am given the opportunity, I would. Because uh, I advocate women's uh, issues. And I strongly believe uh, women deliver better. And uh, I, I derive strength from uh, women like uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, Sonia Gandhi, uh, women who have actually looked at um, the world in a different perspective. So I strongly believe that if I am given the opportunity, I could do it, and I will do it. But I'm not too sure whether the United National Party is ready for a woman leader, so that's the difference.